previously on Cal Poly Survivor. The sixth person vote of Cal Poly Survivor season two and the first member of our jury, Mia. Unfortunately, yeah, that's enough. That's not fucking this. <laughs> Six points enough. Please come review your porch. Let's go get deep fight. Um, that went how I wanted it to. That was like what I what I hoped would happen and what I thought would happen. I honestly, my only concern was Ryan for some reason. I was like, is he gonna like talk to Riley? I really was worried that he would go back to Riley and he would flip and vote Liam. But I feel like I knew John trust with him. So going into tribal, yeah, um, I knew we were all going to be Mia. I knew that all the four old Avila members, Ryan, Scarlett, uh, Nathan, and myself, we were all voting Mia. And I was like 90% certain just because Scarlett kept telling me that Benji and um, Anna were all going to vote Mia. So I felt pretty safe. I Before I showed up, I told Riley, uh, if you vote me out, if you vote me, like it's not gonna work, and you're gonna end up regretting it. Uh, he still ended up doing it, which sucks for him. But uh, I think the battle lines are drawn now, and I think he's gonna be next. How do you feel going into the next challenge, then? Uh, I want to win, so he doesn't win, and so we get him out of here. so happy the vote went our way everyone was telling me the truth yet again in tribal i know exactly where all the votes are going um at this point me and nathan have been in on every single vote that we've been a part of um and that i don't want that to like boost my confidence too much but it definitely like everything has gone how we've wanted and expected it to. Threat, you know what happens when you're seeing this big threat this early in the merge? You get gone, bye Mia. But it was so priceless to see the look on Riley's face when we voted off his biggest ally. Cause he did to me last tribal. He voted off Gabby, not cool bro. And it was sweet revenge and I'm loving it. I don't know, the fake idol I think, honestly, like I just want it. oh my gosh. Like I'm not even gonna try to be I'm not gonna, like, that idol saved us this week. <laughs> like, the fake idol is what got Brooke, Mia, and Riley to stop looking for the idol. And I think they could have found it. Because they're all good at looking for those. Pipes were off. Like, it was very obvious that something was off heading into tribal. People were a lot more curt with me. People were a lot less forthcoming with me. Uh... I will say in my talk with Nathan, for example, he's like, I haven't heard any names at all. And then in the same conversation, he was like, yeah, I haven't heard your name. It's all good. And I'm thinking to myself, like, uh, I hope that wasn't the slip of the frog, like a Freudian slip or something like that. Turns out it was. That was a pretty crazy one. Uh, to be honest, me and Riley were voting together and then we, we voted Liam just because we're like, oh, he's a good player. We should probably get him out. 
but neither one of us conferred with anyone else, so it's funny that like three other people also voted for him. Uh, and me and Mia got out, so I guess now we're kind of a tribe divided five and five, just who voted who. But um, I guess I need to figure out who the other people who voted similar to me are. But overall, that was a funny one. I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting people to actually like vote the same names. I thought it was gonna be all over the place. But um, yeah, it was a fun tribal council. Tribal council. Uh, Brooke and Riley are upset that Mia's gone, but what you gonna do? Sorry. <laughs> All right, so it's pretty obvious I'm under a lot of fire. Uh, mainly by Brooke, she, <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, I, I kind of thought that uh, Anna would be right and that she'd be able to, you know, or that we'd be able to reason with her more, but she is not, not having it. Brooke was having none of it, and I wanted her to be on board to be like, hey, you know, maybe we can like try to branch out, try to forge our own path. But she's like, I don't trust any of them. We're on the bottom. and we're gonna get picked off, blah, 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 blah. Basically, I fucking hate Benji and Anna, bro. Bunch of like fucking rats. Because to be honest, I probably could have just stuck with, um, with Brooke and Mia and, and them, and probably wrote it out all the way to like probably even like top five or something like that but the thing is is if i did that with have not there would have been no shot for me to win the game especially if riley would have been there because i think i think i think he he's still like the biggest threat to win the game in my opinion i don't think i'm a huge threat right now um i don't think i'm an idiot which i think is some the perception a little bit mg and anna flipped which I know I was on the wrong side of it, but that is genuinely the stupidest move they could have made. They voted out somebody who was very willing to go to bat for them, to try to keep him around, to try to save him. And you all know, voted that person out. And said, now what you're in, you're in the bottom of the six people who you voted for. Obviously, you are, you have scorned the other four people remaining in the game and he's damn fucking lucky okay let me repeat that he's damn lucky that i still have some desire to work with him because it's very easy to be like hey you know benji and Adol flip so easily why don't we get them out i've been playing dumb to brooke and i think she thinks that like somehow i was fooled into flipping on her which is like not the case at all i strategy girl i wanted to get rid of mia Riley was incapacitated. He was done. Poor Riley is just so sad that his, you know, crush got voted out um, and did message, I think everyone, sort of a sad, pathetic little text like, oh, I'm so loyal. I, I'm begging for my life in the game. You know, all that sort of stuff, um, which is, I mean, he is on the shopping block, so good for him for knowing that. Uh, I'm, I'm screwed. My closest ally just got voted home. All my other allies that I thought I was close with are still here. And the guy I was gunning for is the leader of all of the other people who are still alive. The two names I threw out are still in here. Best position integration-wise with these people because I made an attempt to try to reach out with them. I, right now I really, I really like Rahul. Um, he seems really trustworthy and also very much like not, he's not too tied to anyone right now. Um, and I think if Brooke goes home, he'll just kind of like, I think we could get him on board. I'm not really tight with Liam. He's kind of a wild card. Loki scares me a little bit. Like. After the votes were read, he like got excited, like we just like won the Super Bowl or something. Like I was just like, damn, that was a pretty set in stone vote for us. Um, didn't, didn't didn't need that much excitement for getting me out in final ten. There are some people who are more open with me about wanting to talk about the vote. There are some people like <clears throat> Brooke who is like, what are you doing? 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 She was interrogating these people. I don't know why she thinks that'll do her any favors. Brooke seemed like offended today that she didn't get sent home. 
She was like, why did you choose Mia? Like, am I not a threat? I was like, what? Do you want to be? <laughs> you can go home next <laughs> if you're a threat. Like, why are you upset? <laughs> to me, super weird to yell that you think you're a huge threat. Uh, especially post-merge when you were just blindsided. Like, I don't know what this girl is doing. Well, it's just Riley was super pissed at Benji. Like, they're both really pissed at Benji. I'm like, Benji made us move. How to deal with the consequences. And uh, he's dealing with it right now. If I was going to enter, if I was going to play any sort of game, it would be one to win. And that that means it's going to be very hard. I just, I just, I don't know why I didn't think it would be like to this level because there's, you know, after being constantly berated about like, oh my God, you know, you're such an idiot. Why would you do, why would you, you know, betray us and things like that. It's just like, you know, it gets to your head, but you know, you just have to like, snap back to reality and realize that regardless i have the numbers all right welcome back to the next challenge we are here with the final 10 um last one out was mia in the six to five vote um but immunity's back up for grabs so with that being said today's challenge is called buzzkill and here's how here's how it works basically everyone will have their computers Sorry. <laughs> Basically, everyone will have their computers, um, and everyone will be in the same uh, system where basically they have a buzzer. Uh, at predetermined amounts of time, uh, there will be a buzzer that goes off. When that buzzer goes off, you will click the button. The last person to click the button will be eliminated from that round. During the challenge, we will also have some tempting rewards uh, or just temptations. Um, and yeah, the last person standing wins immunity. Um, best of luck. We're starting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's start. Okay. All right, everyone. We're gonna get started with the challenge. Get your computers ready because round one is now underway. Patience and endurance. Good luck to you all. Okay. All right, everyone. You're faced with your first temptation. We have a beautiful pizza here. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you want to show the pizza to everyone, what they are. Uh, what? Oh, it doesn't have all. Oh, oh but, but, here's, but here's the thing. Pizza's gonna be over here. You guys are free to come taste some pizza, but this button can go up anytime. You do not eat over there. You have to eat over oh, here. What? So it's up to you whether you like to risk. Going for some pizza. Let me see how much you can do. Stop crying. I'm gonna do good to that. Inhale, Riley. Do you know the whole pizza? Okay, but they're in the same bag. Damn it! We gotta get a little bit of it. No! Get a chainsaw man now. Dude, I didn't think you were gonna go. Obviously, I'm sure all of you guys want to vote at this next tribal, but in order to vote at this next tribal, you need to have your vote. Um, is it last person? No, it's not. If you don't got it. If you don't got your vote from room 125, or, yeah, room 125, you do not have a vote next tribal. Wait.
starve to whoever had six to eight class in here. <sighs> this is what you want us to grab, right? Yeah. Like, what if we all grab the wrong thing? You're the last one to grab your vote. You don't get don't your vote. Was, Wait, who said that? Who said that? Josh! What? Leon! I didn't hear that? He was right next to you! <laughs> well, I mean, Gavin didn't get it because there's still one.
congratulations for me. You will not be voted out next. You will receive a guaranteed final nine. Stay out. Congratulations. All right, man, do I suck at challenges. I'm just gonna say it, I suck, I'm so bad. If anyone brings my name up in a challenge threat way, they're wrong, I have no threat in them challenges. My good God. I want immunity. Uh, let me talk about the challenge. That challenge is, uh, I read it up. The uh, endurance? No, under the uh, Geneva Convention, that is torture. I'm just circling the space bar like, ooh, beep. Press. That, it took over an hour of just, I don't know how many button presses, and we have to do running, and we have to, you know, have our vote next tribal, and all that jazz. It's like, ah, whatever. I want. I'm immune. I actually did something competent in this game. Who would have thought? It's a miracle. Riley lost immunity in a terrible way. A double click. Wasn't even on the buzzer. That's really tough for him. Really good for me. I lost the challenge because my hand cramped. I would have won. I really felt confident about it. Um, and I can't find the idol. Um, so I'm completely screwed. I'm gonna have to kiss some major ass. I I really need to find the idol because if I don't find it, I'm going home. I know Brooke's safe because they don't want a girl to go home. We've learned that like there's kind of some misogyny going on here. I don't know if you guys noticed, but what we're down to 10 now, um, five of them have been women. Um, Jeremy's only out because idols were used. Like that should have been Gabby. So um, at this point, um, no guy has been targeted. Um, and yeah, so. We're trying to get three out here in a row, which should happen unless something goes terribly wrong. But yeah, the men have to go. They have to go. Looks like it's either me or Gavin. Um, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to stay in. But I mean, technically I've never flipped. I've always been really close to my alliance. Don't be like Riley and try to pitch my loyalty. He's like to me, I said, technically you haven't flipped. Bro, you flipped. <laughs> He's like, maybe these guys don't know that I flipped because I didn't want rocks. I mean, they know. Are you kidding me? Word spreads. They know you flipped. You were planning on flipping beforehand. So maybe they can see that and see that I'm a team player. I'm I'm royally screwed. I hope next tribal and idol doesn't mess this up because that's about the only thing that can really mess up this next vote. I know Riley's gonna go hard for this new idol that was given a clue mid challenge which I'm pretty sure most people have heard by now through connections and here and there. But I feel like Riley out of the people that have seen it are the, is like the only one that'll go super hard for the idol, except for Brooke. Brooke and Riley are probably the, the top two that will get the idol, I, I think. So that's probably gonna be the biggest problem. Riley also still somehow trusts me. He tells me all his where he thinks this new idol is gonna be, which I just think is absolutely bizarre how he can trust me after I just lied to him for about a, a week, five days or so. Uh, Brooke gave me some advice that uh, that old might be hidden at like Tahini because that's translates to the place of the full moon. That's what I remember the idol being, um, or the idol clue being like, so let's see if I can find it. I ran into Brooke, which I kind of expected, and Benji, um, and you know, I need that idol more than anyone, so anytime Benji even looked or anything, I'd run right in front of him to not let him get an idol before me, because if we both saw it at the same time, I was getting that. <laughs> and then I kept asking him who he wanted to vote for, and he honestly just was straight up and just said me every time, um, so screw you. <laughs> Like, come on. God damn, I wish I, I, wish I had an idol. I'd, I'd be voting Benji out if I had an idol right now, but I don't, so I gotta hope. It's Kevin. Riley, early on, he's gonna be, if he doesn't keep winning immunity, he's gonna be axed pretty fast, I think. Uh, the only thing that's saving him potentially right now is 
uh, Gavin's sort of getting on people's nerves. Um, even though he's a super low threat level, he's just sort of annoying to have around at this point. Brooke and I were clearly on the bottom. Gavin is not in the bottom. Gavin is not at the top. Gavin is omniscient. Gavin is everywhere. And nowhere at the same time. Like, who knows who Gavin? Everyone wants to take Gavin to Thin because everyone thinks he can be beat. Gavin seemed same old Gavin. Just such a, honestly, such a steady force in this game. <laughs> he has become, like, honestly the most, like, just the, the, the baseline person, I feel like. His reaction is always like, oh, okay. It's like, I'm such a chiller. So far has caused no chaos. Um, and I kind of feel like keeping him around because I don't think he would win if he got to the top three. I think... I haven't seen enough gameplay from him for him to win, um, so I'm not worried about him. And I'm not worried about him like coming after me or coming after anyone. He seems like pretty go with the flow, so I'm fine to keep him around. I want Riley gone. I want Riley gone badly. Um, he seems like the biggest threat and the least like loyal ever. Like, I don't, I don't trust what he says he's gonna do, I don't trust who he says he has allyship. Like, I don't, I don't trust him at all. I took Ryan home, and he was like, next tribal, I think Gavin should go. And I was like, I don't really want Gavin to go, he's no threat to me whatsoever socially. I'd rather Riley go home, because he finally lost immunity. He showed how good he is in immunity. Therefore, he lost. We should get him out now. So I feel like I can convince Ryan that Riley needs to go this time and then Gavin. My strategy going into this week is to reconcile my relationship with Ryan. Really hope you can forgive me for all I've done. I could definitely see going to the final three with him. Uh, we talked for about like an hour and a half last night on the phone. I think it's time that I start making big moves, or at least plan on start making big moves. And I'm thinking, even though he stabbed me in the back multiple times, I'm gonna take in Riley. And I know what you're thinking. You must be stupid and crazy to trust Riley again after everything he's done, but he will literally do anything to stay in this game. And I think I'm gonna be the first person to take advantage of that. And I am. I called him last night and I said, look Riley, I don't trust you, but if you wanna stay in this game, you gotta trust me. And I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that you're not going home next tribal. So I'm gathering the forces. We're voting off Gavin. I'm making sure we're voting off Gavin. It has to happen. And then if he finds that idle immunity, I am going to tell him to play the second tribal because I know people are going to want him gone if he doesn't get individual immunity. So I told him, go find that idol. Tell me about it. And I'll tell you when to play it because two tribals from now, is when I'm gonna be playing my big move and building up that survivor resume. Cause I found this baby at the individual immunity challenge. And it says, you can pass this on to another player if you tell production. So I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. Ryan told me exclusively that his final three would be me, him, and Scarlet out of our top six, which would be them three plus Benji, Anna, Liam. And we both agreed that we don't really, if Liam makes final six, fine. But if we also lose him along the way, also couldn't care less at this point. Scarlet's threatening Liam because apparently Liam might think that he's the one who convinced Benji and Anna to flip. When in fact it was their ally, this is that excellent Avila that really cemented that decision. So Charles so like, yeah, you know, something's moving forward. You know, let's just make a plan. Liam's in there because he's in my six, but I can be fine with losing him along the way. He doesn't have to make final six at this point. Um, he really stresses me out on votes. He like, he doesn't listen to other people's opinions in group chats. And yeah, honestly, yeah, he might be going after this one. But at this point, moving forward, Scarlet's my number one, right? 
final two there. I have a final two with Benji. He'll take me to the final. Now Ryan's telling me he'll take me to the final. Anna will take me, Benji, and Scarlett to final four. So with all these different people, I have ways of getting to the end. Therefore, I need to get out the people that I don't have that strong connections with. Riley says he wants to work with me, but that is because he is in the bottom of the barrel right now. Like, this girl he was down bad for is now out. Um, he backstabbed Liam for this girl a couple, well, last tribal. Not, not the one Mia went home, the one Gabby went home. So Riley has no one at this point. So he's turned to me. Which, I mean, not complaining about, you know. I'll take another person to me information. But, yeah, he needs to go at this point. As I said, challenges, not my thing. Challenges, Riley thing. He loses challenge, he gets out, better chance for me. That's, that's the, that's the logic right there. That's some simple, simple math. Um, I'm still not really sure, but... I have a feeling like we have the numbers and I feel good about that, but like idols are going to be an issue. Um, so I think voting for Riley would be a bad call this week because um, he's so paranoid and he's been paranoid since week one. Like he is incredibly, he's on the highest alert. So in an ideal world, Riley goes this week, but... You know, there are some days when I really wish the idols didn't exist. This is one of those days. There's way too much risk to put a lot of votes on Riley because I just think that he probably has an idol. Ryan really wants Gavin next. So I think I'm gonna try to see if people will split votes between Riley and Gavin. So, if Riley has an idol, which I think people are assuming at this point because he's looking like crazy, um, if Riley has an idol and plays it, and you know, ooh, I'm driving because I'm in line for gas at Costco. Uh, but it's sort of like, yeah, we split. So, if Riley doesn't play the idol, Riley goes. If he does play the idol, idol is gone. Gavin goes, no big loss. Um, so potentially that would be a three, three, a three, four, three, I believe. Um, and I think we could try, I think we can honestly loop in a bunch of people to vote Gavin. Uh, I think Brooke would vote for Gavin. We need Riley to think it's him, so he'd play the idol. But yeah, Brooke could potentially play, um, vote for Gavin and maybe even Raul would vote for Gavin also. Um, and then, you know, we can get like the actual alliance, me, Scarlett, Nathan, Benji, um, maybe Liam will also vote <laughs> for Riley. Uh, and then maybe Ryan votes for Gavin because he's so adamant on that, which honestly, respect. I don't need Gavin around at all. <laughs> Tomorrow's tribal is honestly the least confident I have felt so far. Um, I, I'm prepared for it to go wrong. I'm prepared to get totally shocked. Definitely everyone is stressing a lot more for this one. The split vote is really rough. We're assuming that maybe Riley has an idol because he's been looking like crazy and there's two idols that have probably been found, honestly, they need to have been found. Um, so currently, I'm not safe whatsoever in this game. Right now, it looks like it's either me or Gavin today. Um, if I go home, it's okay. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and I'm gonna miss it, but... I didn't play the game good enough, I guess, but... Um, I was asking Benji... Um, if there's anything I can do to earn his trust, and he sent me this. He's kind of a weird guy. He said, You and I are quite the sight for sore eyes, two sides of the same cone, coin that have stood the test of time. By taking the road less traveled, you can make all the difference. 
And he said, vote for the person that the poem says and write a star next to their name. If you solve this, I will seriously work with you because that's very impressive. I don't really know what the poem means. I'm writing Gavin, so. Um, yeah. And also, Benji, I, I want to get you out as soon as possible because I don't trust you. I don't care what you say. Brooke stated that she could throw her vote on Scarlett because she said it might be a funny reaction. And then she also brought up Benji earlier today. So it might also be Benji. Brooke wants to make content and cause chaos. And it's like kind of apparently in a defeated mindset. Like, I'm not going to growl for myself to them. I'm basically, you know how she is like, I'm not going to be Gabby's bitch. I guess she's now like, I'm not going to be Benji and Hannah's bitch. But apparently Brooke is voting for me because she thinks I would have a funny reaction if my name was on a vote. Which is like... Okay. Like, I don't know. I don't know. She told Anna that she wanted to vote for whoever would have the funniest reaction. She was like, oh, Scarlett. <laughs> like, okay, do it. <laughs> Try me. I'm gonna be, I'm stone cold. No reaction. And then I have no idea what Gavin's doing. That boy doesn't answer his phone. Gavin, who fucking knows? Uh, he could vote anywhere. The worst thing that can happen tonight, there are two idols out there and I have no idea where they are. If Riley has fucking both of them and he uses both of them tonight, um, oh, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Cause if he uses one on himself and one on Gavin, I'm gonna cry. I'm legitimately gonna cry. It's so exhausting. Like I'm doing my best and I'm like, I've spent so much time strategizing, but at some point you have to be like, okay. Like I can only do, so I can only like, I. I can't control other people. Um, so hopefully it goes how I want it to. And if it doesn't, then at least I'll be on the jury. Strong, you know, star. I was getting all this information from everywhere. And, you know, I still am. I'm getting a huge like influx of information, but it's just like, it's it's not the same. Once you once you burn bridges, it's, it's, a, it's a completely different game. And it's rough too, because I think like the fire has been like on me a lot, <laughs> you know, because I'm just like on an assumption that's like, yeah, Riley and Brooke just obviously don't like me. And it's like, well, it is what it is, you know, it's a game and I guess I got to play it. Welcome to our first member of the jury, Mia Barat, last trial counsel. All right, we're back for trial counsel once again. Um, I'm sure all of you are very excited to be here. Um, Anna, take me through after that last vote, um, just how the tribe is feeling um, after losing uh, your first member to the jury. Yeah, obviously last vote was super di divisive. <laughs> um, I mean, since it was a 6-5 vote, like pretty much half the tribe was blindsided with that one. So I feel like that really fractured everyone's sort of sense of where everyone else was at in the tribe. And then we only had a couple of days to sort of attempt to regroup and figure out what alliances we're gonna work with moving forward in like this vote and beyond. So yeah, it's definitely a big one. Obviously like trying to figure out how to regroup. Some people were blindsided. Um, Brooke, how are you feeling after the last vote? I feel like there's a bunch of rats in here that don't deserve to be here. They're stupid players, they're mean, and I'm gonna get them out eventually. Somehow. <laughs> Does anyone feel like that was directed at them? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyone talk about that? Be called a rat? Doesn't feel great. <laughs> Wait, you're not the rat. Oh, no. <laughs> What? Do you want to say who the rats are? Tell me you want to... Oh, what? Never mind, it's fine. No, I should put it in Anna. Yeah, it's us. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> Benji, how do you feel about being called out like that and being called a rat after the last round? I don't know, I feel more like a snake, to be honest. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Nathan, from your perspective, obviously a, a start like that after last travel, well, some people were, are feeling obviously a little hurt by it, how it ended up going. Um, do you think that that plays an impact in tonight's vote and how the tribe is 
uh, continuing after last week, or has there been shifts that you see from last week? I think the six that voted out Mia have recalculated what their plan is going forward. Um, I think we had a plan, and there's some things that went one way or the other, but we're pretty set in stone of what we're trying to do tonight. I think something interesting about, about tribal is everyone obviously, like I've said, has their own plan, but obviously everyone also speaks pretty cri cryptically about what that plan is. So it's interesting to see a lot of the faces tonight about, oh, what does that mean? Does that mean it could be me? Does that, am I in on this plan? Um, Ryan, obviously, like I've said, this is a point in the game that's pretty, pretty momentous. It's in the middle of the game, um, and the game starts to shift at this point. Has there been talk more so about just working with people you trust, or has there been a shift towards getting out big threats and getting out people who um, have a good chance of winning this game? Uh, no comment. Anyone have a comment on that? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have time to process it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, um, I feel like everyone's just playing their own game right now, and I think there's a lot of different strategies in how people are playing their games, but I think it's definitely important to like realize who you trust and know who you trust going forward because it's still pretty early in the merge. And, um, yeah, I mean, the merge is when you start playing the game, so I feel like everyone's individual games will start coming out soon. I could comment on that too. I, if you were. No, go ahead. <laughs> like, I feel like the, almost everybody here, in my opinion, like deserves to win or has a good chance of winning. Like if they get to top three, they could win. So for me, I'm not worried about that right now. I'm like, everybody here, in a sense, deserves to win. So like, the threats in terms of top three, I don't see that as an issue, and I'm much more looking at trust. Like that, by far, I'm looking at who I can trust and not who's a threat for top three. Um, uh, Riley, how do you feel coming into the night? <clears throat> well, I felt a lot more confident last week. I played that. Um, I came in last week. I got completely blindsided too. I was on the losing end of that boat. Um, and I mean. It was kind of a good reality check in the sense where I felt really comfortable in this game, and now I don't anymore. So I'm pretty much prepared for whatever, I'm not prepared for anything right now. Uh, I am not ex excited about this vote, <laughs> but you know, I'm here. So In your conversations this week, obviously having that reality check is in, in that vote, how does that prepare you for this week in having those conversations and making sure that you're not the one person going home? Well, I mean, I've, I've talked to a lot of people. Uh, after that build, I really figured I'd have to reach out more and rely less on my physical capabilities and try to work on a social game for once. Um, so I hope I hope that's worked um, with some people here. I think I made some good connections, but we'll find out. Brooke, what about from your standpoint? Um, obviously, it sounds like there's a little bit of upsetness at last week. Um, how do you feel right now after like trying to rebound from this? Obviously, it sounds like you weren't on that side of the boat and you don't know what's going on. Um, but if that is the perspective, how do you feel going to tonight, and how did you prepare for that during this week? Listen, man, I'm not trying to rebound. Like, listen, here, here's the way I see it, okay? I had good allies. I spent the entire time before the merge trying to keep all of us safe and make sure we didn't get picked off like by Gabby. And my two allies threw that away and voted out my next closest ally. So, I, I mean, I got a roll over here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, he's not really playing the game that much, um, so but I got nothing, you know. Um, but Maybe not with you. <laughs> <laughs> <You're playing better. laughs> anyway, oh, yeah, I, 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 I'm just chilling. I'm just gonna hang out. Well, obviously, there's still a decent amount of game left to be played, but obviously, a big part of trying to win Survivor is trying to, to figure out your perception in the game. Hearing something like that, how does that make you feel at this point in the game? Uh, I mean, it doesn't change my perception. I know that, so... <laughs> <laughs> see? See? That's not me! I'm not me! <laughs> it doesn't change, like, obviously it's... You want to, like, try to reach out more, try to talk with people more. I mean, having safety helps a lot. Like, you have, like, hey, I know I'm going to survive this vote. That's something nice to feel. But, I mean, you, like you said, there's a lot of game left to play, so... I don't know. <laughs> final, yeah, just final three. Who knows? Uh, Gavin, obviously this week there was a lot of talk about um, 
idols and different idols clues. There was a different kind of clue this week with a map, and then there was a clue during um, the challenge that was released. Um, obviously, you weren't at the challenge. Does that worry you not being able to have seen that, and also worry that there could be an idol pick tonight? To be honest, not really. I think I've kind of noticed a trend of people with idols get voted out with idols in their pocket. Uh, so I was like, I thought about like the idol, and I'm like. I, I could, but I don't want to take the time. I'd much rather, because I feel like it just puts a target on your back because like, someone's going to notice that you're looking for it, and then you could get messed up because of that. So for me, you know, I'm more just trying to play the social game, talk to people around me, and uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here. Um, well, Ryan, going to tonight's vote, what is your decision going to be made off based off of? Um, it's going to be made off of who I trust and who I think needs to go. Uh, well, with that, I think it's time to go. Benji, you're up first. Benji told me to write a star to signify that I'd cast the vote. Um, and then Scarlett told me to sign my name. So I'm going I'm to do both. <laughs> Super fun game. I really enjoyed my tribe. Definitely probably should have played harder, text more people, outreached. Uh, but yeah, overall it's a fun time. Just you know, happy I was able to be out here. I feel like I met some cool people. And 
and uh, yeah, hope to hang out with some of the people I met on this uh, tribe more in the future. Hmm, I think I probably stand outreach to people enough, and then uh, yeah, I think that was kind of like my problem. I probably should text more people, just ask them to get lunch, things like that. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a fun time, and I was, I'm happy I was able to be a part of this club. If you're watching this on the uh, on the YouTube, you should 100% sign up for Cal Poly Survivor. Great experience, super fun. Yeah, nothing but great words to say about it. Please go home. Well, I think it's either me or Gavin, so let him Gavin. And the worst part about this episode, my actual like thing, is I fucking hate Riley. Thanks for carrying tribes. Yeah, someone's got it. <laughs> so, if I write extra stuff on here, will you read it aloud? Um, you can just write the name, but it'll show. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I used to draw pictures if that helps. <laughs> okay, we got Gavin on. L plus <laughs> We got Gavin up. Okay. I don't think we should do that. I think I should. I feel like I, I talked to him already about it. I don't. I don't know if you want to put that on, like, recording. Oh, uh, we'll just cut it out of the episode then. Can we? Can we? Do please, please. Can we please. just cross out? I don't. I don't think.